First things first, to make our solid models, we need to bring our scans into Mesh Mixer. That's that free program for anyone to use. Uh, it's not dental related, but you can still do plenty of things on it for dental. So the first thing we're going to do is just clean up these models. I don't like to actually use the highlight. I like to click and drag. And remember, it goes all the way through. So because I dragged that, you see it went even over to the other side. So B for border. And it doesn't like that border right there. So we're just going to take that off. Hit B for border because we want a nice even border. Okay, and then same thing over here. We're going to highlight what we don't want on our model. B for border. And then delete it. Because we want nice, clean models. And same thing. We don't need that full palette on there. We're making a retainer out of this. So just highlight it. Or shift to unhighlight it. And B for border, enter. So now we're pretty trimmed up. So now we need to put a base on it so we can print it. But we do always have to do that inspector because that's going to show us any little voids or anything that'll give us problems. Inspector is like your best friend. If you do the inspector and the hole that it fills in is just a little wonky, you can smooth it just a teensy bit. Then what we're going to do is we are going to go to select. Then we will control A to highlight all of it. And we're going to go down to extrude. This is putting the base on the model for us. We're always going to go up here and change it to the same settings. The Y axis and flat. That is going to tell it where to put it flat on the build plate. So you'll notice that offset, that's telling it's where it's at on that 4D model builder. So for an upper model, you're always going to want to go kind of towards that right hand side. And you'll see why in just a minute. So we need enough offset um, to just give us a nice, good, flat bottom on that. We've passed all those blue margins that you can see. You don't ever want to go underneath there because it'll create a really uneven bottom. But now we've gone past those blue margins. We've put a nice little base on it. Then we will go to accept it. But then we're going to go while it's highlighted and flip the normals because on the upper, because this computer program is not built for dental, it doesn't automatically know what surface is what. Sometimes it flips them inside out. So if you see them striped like that, that means it is inside out. So just highlight it and flip normals. Then you see that extra little guy. We're going to go to plain. We're going to go to make solid. When you make it solid, it's going to get that little, that extra little pad it gave you that it does on the bottom. And it's going to make sure it doesn't try to print a hollow model. Some people print hollow model. I personally do not. So you always want to up that solid accuracy and mesh density. So we made it a solid, but we don't really need that big of a base, right? It's a solid, but let's plain cut it and bring that up just a little and cut any excess off of there too. Because, you know, who likes to waste resin? It's really easy to go like overboard on these if your computer seems like it's lagging a little bit. It's just because you're using a 4D program, you know, this is 4D design on a 2D computer. It can slow down and lag the computer sometimes. So, and just get to know the pl program, play with it. Um, some of the 3D printers will automatically export into a closed an STL model like that, like an iTero will, and that's really nice. But a Seric Prime scan does not. So it really depends on what your um, scanning with if you're going to export it. You can also use model builder programs that are included in like ExoCAD and TrueSuite. But if you don't have any of those programs and you want something completely free to just print some models, this is the way to do it. Go ahead and save over those. Save over your originals, but make sure that you always save as an STL. Okay. And then same thing. We're going to do the same thing for the lower. We're going to make this lower a solid and then we will print them. So we're going to use our highlight tool, but like I like to do, I like to just click and drag. Shift 
and click to unhighlight something if you didn't mean to. B for border and delete. And then same thing on the bottom down here. We're going to drag this because I want anything underneath that line. But that includes, oh, see what it did there? So just shift and unclick it. And B for border, enter and delete. We'll delete out that stuff. And we don't need all of that, so we'll do you know, the same thing on this side. You'll see me changing the angulation a lot depending on where exactly I want to cut off. So it's a little too much over there, so we'll just take that off. That's good. All that information we really don't need to print. Just a waste of resin. So just highlight where you want to delete. B for border. Doesn't like that one little guy right there. So we'll go ahead and delete that off of there. And I'll show you how to fix that in just a sec. So now we have made this model and now we need to put the base on it. It's still hollow model. So select all of it and extrude. It's going to be confusing at first when you start learning this just because it's something so different than we're used to. Remember, extrude y-axis and flat. That's telling it where to set it flat, where to stop that extrusion at. And with the lower, you'll need to be more towards the left side. So see, it brings it down past that blue margin. We want to get down below that blue margin to make a solid model. This kind of like saying, put enough stone, mix up enough stone to pour up a good base for your impression, I guess is my best analogy I could do. So we're past, extruded past all those margins so we can accept that and then we'll make it a solid and do a plain cut to cut off any extra. Beautiful. And you'll notice we didn't have to flip the normals on that one. Only the uppers you have to flip the normals and mesh mixer. But we are going to make that a solid, bring up the solid accuracy and the mesh density, and then update it. You have to update it. And then accept the update. Okay, move that out of the way. And then we're going to do a plain cut again, just like we did with the upper. Don't need to print quite that much. And obviously the taller the print, the longer it's going to take. So if the shorter I make these, the less time it'll take. But you also don't want to cut yourself too short. Um, and then you won't have any room to play with the bottle, make retainers, anything like that. You do want some gingiva um, in it. Don't cut it off right at the gum line by any means. Every office is different though. And there's our solid model. And I'm always doing that inspector just to make sure and export it and save it over the original file and make sure you save it as that STL. And there's our solid models to print.